Hello everyone, I hope you're well. So I just wanted to quickly update you with a few things that we have got done, which is great. Um, hopefully to make it a lot better again, get rid of whatever smell we thought was in here. So we had the two new doors installed today, which is great. So what I'll do as usual is flip the camera around, show you what they've done. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, all your comments, your advice is still amazing. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired today because I've been here since about, what, nine this morning. It's now half past five. So yeah, it's taken them pretty much all day to do the doors. There were a few little problems, but I'll, um, I'll explain that. Um, I'll also explain what's going on outside with the insulation on the outside, um, yeah, because it's quite hot at the moment. So yeah, it looks as though everything's drying. So I'll flip the camera around now. Remember to like, subscribe, share the video, and let me know in the comments what you think. So let's take a look. So yeah, I'll start with the doors. <clears throat> so we replaced the front door. Um, they did have to drill into the plaster to get to um, the bolts, what bolt on the actual door frame all round. Um, so yeah, it was quite a thick bit of plaster there. So um, yeah, it took quite a while to obviously get all, all of that off. Um, obviously all this is all new foam now to reseal it. And um, the one good thing is it's all dry in there. Um, you know, it exposed the brick, the block behind the plaster. Um, you know, touching it all, there's no moisture in there because we were slightly worried. Um, there's still going to be obviously moisture behind that plaster, but you know, that is quite thick that bit and it's, it, it, it's dry. Um, it is looking, um, pretty dry to be honest. Um, the smell is definitely gone because I believe it was this foam that was, um, deteriorated. Um, obviously that's the new foam, but on the old door, it was um it was quite dirty and it was smelling so that as you walked in these two doors were holding a lot of kind of dirt um and now they're they're brand new we've gone for the same doors um although we did um we managed to get them at a reduced price um so thanks to the shop uh we went to it's actually somebody that owns it on our street so he was doing an offer to the end of um june if you ordered the doors he was given a slight discount to all the people that were affected with floods so you know thanks um to that so this time we did go it was a slightly different door it's, it, we've gone for a little bit of glass in the front um just so it'll let some more light in it actually um it was quite dark this area so the door wasn't any more expensive it was actually cost less than the one we had so we've saved managed to save a little bit of money on that which is great and it's um now a better feature so you can look out um but you can't see in it's kind of like a mirrored not not super mirror but it's like um you can't see in from the outside um which is really good but you can obviously see out and it will let the light in when the sun especially when the sun rises in the morning in that direction and even now with um the um yeah just standing here it, it it seems lighter um the garage door was also replaced even though that was kind of working this one was jammed it just wouldn't even open it was all broken and um, the handles were all falling off the, the garage door was kind of okay but there was a lot of mold still inside the wood anything that wood has obviously had to go so that was the last kind of bit that was holding any mold and there was like I keep saying bits smells coming from it so we decided to replace that but this um actual door frame was smaller than this one um to be honest when we were ordering them we didn't remember that they were a different size we just thought they're all a standard size because we've gone for the same door we just thought it was the same size door but this one was slightly bigger so they did have to drill um 10 centimeters this way of the block and down there um, and kind of remove the plaster board that was just making the frame up there to reseal it inside. So this wasn't changed. Obviously it's all resealed again, um, but they had to drill in. But do you know what? That's kind of a positive in a way we've done that because we've gone into the middle of these blocks now um, because we were concerned if it, they were holding any water. 
Um, obviously the water was right up here, so all of these blocks would have been holding water. And if you come right down, um, it's, it's, it's bone dry. So, you know, that's a block that's been taken half out pretty much and there's no moisture. So it's all looking as though it is dry. All the internal blocks are dry. So that is a positive, even though it was dusty, messy work today. But um, yeah, it's looking like it, it's drying and all the plaster, um, you know, the thickness of that plaster there, you know, it's um, it's it's not holding any moisture anymore and no mold coming through, no nothing. So yeah, it was a bit annoying. It was the wrong size door, but um, yeah, it's, um, it's allowed us to see um, more into the blocks and see, see what's going on. So, so that's what the biggest things happened today. Yes, it's not finished properly. We've got to refill this. We've got to fill it, plaster it, um, make it obviously finish it correctly. But um, just glad we've got um, a door that actually opens and locks and everything. So yeah, and it's just a little bit nicer that it's got that glass. There's the old doors. We're gonna try and sell them either of scrap metal or if somebody wants them or um i don't know like when people are building houses they can kind of use them as a temporary door on something that's what they they can do because yeah the locks on the one door does work and the frame is fine on the other hinges all work so you can kind of i don't know might be able to get the the, the bigger door working again so we'll just advertise that if not um we'll have to get it collected ourselves but hopefully somebody can reuse them or or scrap metal or whatever so so that's that front doors done um and yeah it's all kind of see what it is so it's a bigger door in the garage now it's 10 i think 10 centimeters bigger than the previous door but hey ho it was easier to just do that than send it back it would have cost more to have it then re-delivered because you have to pay for delivery each time. So we were like, right, if you can do that, not, you know, the block work. Um, just, so yeah, it's, um, it's all done, which was good. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you was outside. Um, so like I said, every, everything is drying. Um, even, so all the walls, pretty good the humidity was down to 35 in here which is great um so when i mean it's drying outside all the insulation inside there is all dry apart from one corner which i'll show you now so everything around this side of the house where the sun comes round and then sets in that direction so all this back and all the side around there and then the front of the house gets sun the only part that doesn't really get any sun is, as you can see, the shadow there. So everything's dry. This one's dry. And then it's just these, this one, this one, and this one. And then also two at the very front there are still um, slightly damp. But obviously we've got two months of winter, um, winter, <laughs> getting ahead of myself there. Two, two months of summer or hot summer left. Um, and I think it will dry. But what I've also noticed is, because that's obviously the, the most damp wall outside and the insulation is, when I put the humidity kind of sensors in, um, this room is still at about 50. And I've noticed this corner here is still, is still, a little bit damp so what i'm going to do is run the dehumidifier in this room and um and go from there so yeah that's the update today um nothing else really let me know what you think in the comments any suggestions um yeah i'll be um appreciated remember to like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video